the dream is cycle. It's the dream is cyclical. It's the dream is cyclic. It's cyclical. What do you mean? What's that mean? Now that's a static repetition. It's cyclical. We're not looking for that alone, though that would be interesting. It's also cyclical if we go. Well, that's cyclical, but also shows a direction, development. Now, most people regard dreams as cyclical in the sense that all the parts can be fit together and the motion itself re tends to return to the basic issue and in that sense it returns to the beginning and that's cyclical. Now, we're not going to talk about which way to take dreams. We're going to play with dreams themselves. And playing is the best way to do it. Now, we had a couple of volunteers, two volunteers, who gave us a series of dreams and uh, hopefully get through both of them. But we may not. We'll try. What are we going to do then? Just as we did last time, always the same way. We take a dream, we consider its parts. Each part may fit into an act, and therefore we call these scenes. And a dream can have several acts. Then this might be regarded as a three-act play. and the third act having only one scene. Further, we said that in every particular scene, these are scenes, we look for three things. We look for an event being described. We look to see if there's some logos or reason or idea, some cognitive element, or basically some idea present. And since it's undoubtedly the case, there are people in the dream, <clears throat> most often, there is therefore a state of mind in evidence. Sometimes some people call that state of mind a feeling state. So for every one of these, we can expect again, we said as we explore dreams, once you lay it out in this way, you must then look for the puzzle. Every dream has a puzzle. That's why it comes into existence. And it's that that we focus on. And let us say at this point, uh, let us say that this is the, this part of the dream represents something mysterious and puzzling. Then we focus on that and view all the rest of the dream in terms of that puzzle to see whether the it allows any resolution of it or any clarification of it, and ideally, <clears throat> a greater expansion of it, ideally. Then, through the state of mind, we often then say this is very significant on two levels, both in terms of the dream itself and what's being enacted, and also its correlate, or the way in which it relates to our waking world. Therefore, we look at dreams as operating on two levels. It's a statement about the nature of the soul or the mind of man and the particular difficulties encountered in the mind of man or the person. There's a very tight relationship to the kinds of difficulties they encounter in their everyday world. And therefore, by seeing the puzzle on two levels within the mind of man and in the waking world, we see that one relates to the other or correlates and therefore, by looking at the puzzle, we're really looking at the puzzle that the person has <clears throat> and is working through. 
once we do this, then we can ask higher questions, which you're familiar with. <clears throat> and the higher question is, once this is laid out, we can then return and ask the question, uh, if we understand it in this way, to what end or purpose can we assign to this great creative event? And would you not agree this allows us with these two to go back and look to each particular scene for the images? the images or the things in the dream and see then how and why they are chosen to represent whatever it is that is being expressed. And we tie that in and that brings us to a new level and often brings us into a new insight into the nature of the puzzle. This in general is the way we proceed. So, got a volunteers, two volunteers. You have your dreams. Thank you for offering them. Now, I just quickly sketched a couple of them, but if you read them out loud, then we can all see it and we'll see whether or not we can look at each dream this way and then see how they may fit together. That's where we're going. However, you, it's your dream. If you'd like to share it, wonderful. Right, right, good. Thank you. And because I have the superior ability of art, Competing with Leonardi and such people, you can see here, I've already sketched a couple of them. These are just the highlights. <clears throat> so if you read aloud, then I can correct what I have here and add to it. <clears throat> First, give us the date, please, of the dream. Which one? Which one are you? I don't know which one you did. First one. Um, August seventeenth. The. Yes. Yes. August 17th. And we're going to look for the issue. All right, now that we know that, just read it out loud, please. I'm working with Pierre. Ah, that's me. Here I am. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. It's been suggested that I not use names. Well, it's up to you. I would say any third party other than you and I, I would use their first initial and make up a name. Okay. I'm working with Pierre and he's showing me some exercise where I twirl circles. Ah, ah, okay. Right? And we're looking at circles, seeing their light and seeing if I can see the whole circle from any point. All right. See if I can see the circle from any point. If Go ahead. I can sit and take in the whole circle as if it were in peripheral vision. Can I see it from any point? All right, can I see it from any point? As if from peripheral vision? Go ahead. And we've gone for this talk, and B comes in. Pardon me, do it again. We've gone for this talk. Okay, that's a different mm -hmm. act. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we're gonna consider these. One act, one, two, three, mm -hmm. four, five. Or A, B, C, D, E. All right, go ahead. And B comes in. I, could you just read that again now? We're and going for a. We've gone for this talk. Have gone. Mm -hmm. Have gone for this talk. And B comes in. A couple and, of times. And Sam comes in. Or B comes in. Well, uh, is it oh, just. Oh, Sam came in, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay, Sam King comes in a couple of times, leans in and says that some guy called. Oh, wait a minute. Hold it. B. Okay. Betty. Betty comes in. Good. And says some guy called. Some guy called. Some message that I got. Oh, uh, some message that I got? Go ahead. And also that S called. Well, that Sam called. Also that Sam called. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to have missed him. It sort of jars. Oh, here, look at that. There's that sad look at this. Right. Sorry I missed him. It jars me. It sort of jars me a bit. Kind of a waking dream. A waking? It's kind of a waking dream. What does that mean? Um, I had the sense that I, I was awake in the dream, either that or I was, I was not totally asleep. Oh, oh, you were awake to the dream to the while dream. the dream while was going on. I was having on. the dream or 
so then over all of this then is some sense of awareness of being in a dream and of being more awake than usual and within the dream being more awake than you are usually yes thank you then that sure. suggests, it's does it not? We can always indicate that. <laughs> right? Good. Thank you. Good. Mm -hmm. That's the dream. States of mind, please. Uh, the, looking at the circles was fun. And now, when you say high. looking at the circles, in what form were the circles? Twirling. twirling like a twirl twirling. with a stick well, or just were they just twirling no I think we had I think it was a, like a stick like they were like a dish like like you might twirl a dish but it was but they were circles okay that's all right then. yeah okay go ahead and, um, they were light they, they were they were like the extremity of the circle itself was bright it was there was a lot of light there at the edge? Mm -hmm, mostly at the edge. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And the idea was to see if I could see this, the whole circle from any point. As I was sitting, twirling. To see if I could see, the, see whole circle the whole circle. From any point. From any point. Uh, pardon me, could you do me a favor? Mm -hmm. Could you please just reread it and don't skip anything? Start it over. I'm working with P and he's showing me some exercise where I twirl Thank circles. Thank you. He's showing you some exercise. exercise. Yes. Go ahead. Keep going, please. Where I twirl circles and we're looking at circles. Where I twirl circles. And we're looking at circles. And we're looking at circles. I twirl. We look. Thank you. Seeing their light and seeing if I can see the whole circle from any point. Right. Now, you're doing it then, right. are you not? What, in the dream, what's that like, doing it? He's showing you some exercise. Very concentrated. Concentrated. Um, it, wasn't that, it wasn't that you could see the complete circle from a lot of points so that we were seeing how many there were. It was to see if you could see the circle from any one point. Like they're trying to find the point at which we could see the whole circle, or which I, at least that's how I took it. Trying. I might have that's all right. Look here. Exercise. Trying to find I was the point to from which you can see the whole circle. Trying to find the point from which you could see the whole. Right. Mm-hmm. Yes. Go ahead, please. If I can sit and take in the whole circle as if it were in peripheral. If I can take in the whole circle, see, if I can do that, if I can if take can, in. If I can sit and take in the whole circle, that's the part, goal. Uh, pardon me, I have to, to read see. it with you because you're, I, I have to make sure that. Right. Seeing if I can see the whole circle from any point, if I can sit and take in the whole circle as if it were in peripheral vision, that's the goal. If I can sit and take in the whole circle, there are two parts to that, see? If I can sit, all right? All right. If I can, if I can sit and take in the whole circle. Go ahead. As if it were in peripheral vision. Right? This is the way you would like to do it. Right. Right? As if it were a peripheral vision. Right. Thank you. That's enough. That's the first act. Mm -hmm. All right? Now, as you consider this act and these sections that we've drawn, is there some task? Is there some task? some goal that you're struggling for. Everybody? Yes? Yes. 
All right. Evidence. Scene A. Pierre is showing some exercise. Right? That's, a, right? That's an assignment of the showing something that you're now going to do. Right? Uh, the circle is light, bright at the edge. Very pretty. Very beautiful, very pretty. Pretty, pretty very beautiful. More. Go ahead. Glowing. Glowing. Better. More words. Because it's got uh, radiance coming out. Glowing. Like the when you look at the circumference of the circle, it's radiance. Yes. And go it's ahead. It's also opaque. It's opaque. It has. It's shiny. It has a. It's golden. Golden. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very nice. Very what nice. is it like then doing it? Exciting. Thank you. More? Exciting. Like what? Exciting. Like what? Like it's absorbing. It takes, every, it takes everything. If there's anything else that you want to look at. Say it again. There isn't anything else I want to look at. It's not enough. Oh, <laughs> what's the key word? Like. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you can recall that you were absorbed and concentrated in, like this moment in the dream? Mm -hmm. looking in, sometimes looking at the stars. Sometimes looking at the stars. I've had a few experiences looking at the stars that were of equal magnitude. <coughs> at what? Of equal magnitude of excitement and intensity. It was uh, very concentrated. Well, uh, would you be interested in getting back to that view? Yeah. Would you? What would you do to get it? Go back. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. I'm trying to add some value to it this way, all right? If you knew that was open to you, but you had to drive 100 miles tonight, would you go to do it, if you had the time? Yes. Yeah. Oh. So then you would go to a certain degree of effort in order to re-experience this. Yes, I would. All right, but not more than 100 miles. Well, I'd probably try to look for a plane if it was farther away. No, no, no. Come on, stay with it, okay? We're interested in knowing what it's like to be absorbed in this experience. That's our goal. You told me it was exciting. I like the word exciting. Uh, you added absorbing, and it's concentrated. I have that. Right. But there's but no self-consciousness in it. And then, as I'm trying to tell you now what it's like, I'm, I'm self-conscious, and that's taking away from remembering what that was like because it really wasn't, I wasn't in it. Like I, I was looking at the circle, but it, I wasn't self-conscious the way I am right now, so it's kind of yeah. Like yeah. All right. See, it's beautiful, it's glowing. It's light, it's bright at the edge. It has a radiance and it's shining and it's golden. You find it, that you're able to concentrate easily into it and be absorbed into it. It's very exciting. There's no self-consciousness about it. It's very much like looking at the stars in the heavens. Is that correct? It's very much looking like the stars, which I take to be, from what you've just said, a very high aesthetic experience. Right. And I also thought of another experience that it's like. It's, it's like having an insight when we're reading. When it's reading. like having an insight. A, uh, everyday insight? No. Minor insight? No. All right, having an insight of some right, with some thought behind it. Some thought behind it. Mm -hmm. ah. ah. If you don't mind, what's it like having to admit this much about it? Oh, Harder than I thought. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Now, 
Uh, what do you want to add so that we know a little bit more about this dream? Now I'm staying with the words. I'm working on one word, and I'm pushing the implications of one word. All right. Okay. Say, so, um, you know, there's no self-consciousness. It's like having an insight. Say, so, is this word um, absorbing an interesting word for you? Yeah. Does that admit of degrees? Yes, it does. Well, how absorbed were you in this thing? Uh, what? With the exception of the fact that I was aware of us in the dream, that there were two of us watching the circles, I would say it was mm. ranks up there about a B or B plus. Okay, now you have a struggle. Now I'm focusing on the struggle in the dream. The struggle is at C. Do you see why, it's at the, why it is at C? Mm -hmm. Because she's trying, trying to find the point from which she could see the whole of this. <clears throat> Go ahead. What's that like? States it's actually of a little deflating. It's um, taking my mind off the glowingness of the circle and now I'm concentrating on something else. Deflating? Concentrating on something else? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, but in the dream, I'm looking forward to being able to do it or thinking, you know, that it's something that's possible. So yes, yes, yeah, sure, sure. And so you ask, can I see it from any point? That's the goal. That's the goal. Here, the here's the goal. I think that's your instruction to try to do that. And that's the instruction that you're given, right? That's the goal. This, therefore, is the instruction. Do it. That's the goal. To be able to see it from any point. You have two interesting statements that follow that. If I can sit, go ahead. If I can sit and take in the whole circle as if it were in peripheral vision. And take in the whole circle as if it were peripheral vision. What does that mean, if it were peripheral vision? What would that mean? What does that mean? No, I'm trying to picture what that would be doing. Well, just tell me what you mean by peripheral See, vision. See, twirling by itself, which was one of the things that was giving me a problem, was that I was no longer twirling in circles. Mm -hmm. so that's giving me a problem now, so, and because I'm, when I visualize it, I'm not twirling in circles. There's this part, when I visualize this part, Mm -hmm. It's twirling, but I'm trying to see it all as if it were one part. See, it is doing it. You aren't doing it. Is that right? Yeah. It's, right? Yeah. All right. And tell me about peripheral vision, that's all. If you could see something, if someone, if I could say, do you know that person has exceptional peripheral, peripheral vision, what would you say about them? Hmm. Like that's this this task in the dream that seemed like I would have to have eyes in the back of my head to be able to do this. Like, and if you did, it's going to be twirling over here, and I just like to like reach over with my eyes to try to see it. And if someone did have the peripheral vision, that would mean then. Boy, here we go. Come on. They'd be seen. They would be seeing it and all the time. Right. Right? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, oh boy means what to this? I mean. Well, okay. Okay. Shift. The dream can't go any further with the images within the dream. In order to complete the dream, it changes and adds images, and therefore it's a change in the act. The images within the scenes in Act 1 can go any further, therefore to carry whatever is going on, new act, new scenes. Okay, go ahead. <clears throat> Here we are. Betty comes in. 
gives you a message. Go ahead. And when she says that S has, the Sam is called too, it um, feels some pain. Uh, like it, it jars me physically, jars. Jars me, which is a common state of mind. Okay, that's enough. Can I wake up with that? Yeah, okay, look here. You have gone for this talk, the two of you, right? right. right. Who's the other party? He, I think, still. Okay, same person. All right, look here. Then there's an interruption. It causes you an irritation, but you get the message. Was it, in terms of the dream alone, was it important to get that message? No. It was not important to get that information. No. Right? Therefore, it was, it's strictly speaking, an interruption. It was an interruption. And this talk that you were having. And totally what you wiped were it out. And? Wiped it out. Fine. All right. But you did get the information, and you're sorry that you missed him. Mm -hmm. What does that mean in terms of the dream? Well, you, maybe the talk is it. Stay, stay yeah, with me. See, that may be true. Stay with the dream. See, what does she say? Some guy called. Right, some guy called. And so that was one message, and that one didn't bother me at all. Right. But the second one that, that Sam had also called. Yes. So, um, and it made sense that she would receive the call. She's telling you. No, I didn't even make sense of it. Okay, that doesn't make any difference then, all right? So then the connection is between this person, whoever Betty is, and the mm -hmm. fact that she would lean over, interrupt the talk, and give you that message. Right. All right. So that's something that has been interrupted. This is something that interrupted it. When you're trying to find the point from which you could see the whole, right. interrupted it. This is... Would you agree this is an interruption yeah. mm -hmm. from what you're saying? Mm -hmm. This is an interruption, Betty. So therefore, we're getting further information on the problem of interruption. Yeah. Now, <laughs> I can't hear that. It's familiar. What is familiar? The idea of interruption. All right. Were you absorbed? Sorry you missed him. Were you absorbed in this experience? You're right. You're sorry. It produces an effect. Long lasting. Fine, but insofar as it was intense. This was intense. More please. Sharp. Sharp. More please. See, we're going to get a contrast between the ideas here and in the first act, aren't we? Naturally. Go ahead. Intense, sharp. Piercing. Piercing. Go ahead. Jolting. Jolt. Then, so it has an erasing kind of quality. Good. You're having this talk, whatever it is, it was wiped out as you called it, with Betty interrupting by telling you that Sam called.
that got you into this intense, sharp, piercing, jolting state of mind. And that's another way of talking about what interrupted this talk. So not only did she interrupt it, but it opened up this experience, which was, for however long it lasted, an interruption. Two kinds of interruption, aren't they? Right? The news, someone doing this. You found it irritating, did you not, that Betty would do this, number one, right? And number two, of course, the effect it had on you. Ah. Now, a moment ago, you said you're familiar with this idea of Interruption, aren't you? Talk about it. Oh, it's a lifelong struggle. <laughs> huh? um, a lifelong struggle. I don't know what that um, means. Go ahead. Talk about it. Getting heavily into something I'm reading and then in some thought pull me away. Um, gosh. Doing already doing three or four things at work and having the fifth and sixth things come in. So um, this is going some on. Of it's good and some of it's this not. is going. This is going, yeah. and then something does this, yeah. and according to the dream, what do you lose Beauty. as a consequence? Beauty. All of this, yeah. and the fine talk. Right. Huh. Could it be that? Uh, this is rather interesting. It's a lifelong, you probably recognize it. All right, you, all right, look her. There are many ideas in here that we are not exploring any further. We're just leaving it the way it is. We're not looking at any of the images. Right, purposely, we're not looking at any of the images. All right, will you tell us the next dream, please? Walking in the city that's along a waterway Ah, good. See, waterway. And I have two things with me that I think belong to my mother. A big coat and some kind of thing to step onto, to ride, which I was able to use to go down this one steep place. At one point I walked out by the water and left both those things sitting on the ground. And when I turned around to come back and get them, I was anxious to get them before I lose them. But the thing was, I was wandering farther See. and farther away. See, just stay there, please. Yeah. Say it again. Anxious. Yep. Anxious to get them before I would lose them. Well, go ahead. But the thing was, I was wandering farther okay. and farther away. Yeah, go back before the <laughs> anxious. Come on. You left the two things by the, sh by the edge of the right. water. Go ahead. At one point, I walked out by the water and left both of those things sitting on the ground. And when I turned around... To and when I turned around... To come back and get... Look here. Them, Go ahead. And when I turned around to get them... Before I'd lose them. And then this is the state of mind. I was anxious to get them before I lose them. This is why when I turn around, this is the state of mind I'm in. Go ahead. But the thing was, I was wandering farther and farther away from where I was supposed to go. Mm -hmm. I started out to take a short walk to see if I could get there a different way. And I kept finding that I was cut off from getting back. And I kept walking farther away. And there were all these places that I walked right. by. Right. Going to go for short work, cut off. What's the other one? Cut off. Cut off from getting back. Okay, I kept finding that I was cut off from getting back. See, cut off from getting back. Mm -hmm. Oh, brother. Here it is. You've already. What do you mean, here it is? Keyed in on. I didn't notice this, but the cutting. Cut off from getting back. Yeah. It's another way of getting interrupted. Or cut That's right. See, chop same it. theme is going to pick up. Chop it, chop it, chop it. Go ahead. But I kept walking farther away. Right, and going further and further away. Seeing this beautiful picture here. Gosh, going further and further away each time. Ah, art. <laughs> Go ahead. 
And there were all these places that I walked by that had no access back to the water. No access back. And here is a familiar wormhole coming up. Hotels and places where people are having big receptions, and so the rest of the dream is walking, I'm walking by all these places, seeing all the things they're doing. Go ahead. Okay. Hotels and places where people were having big receptions. Uh, right. Go ahead. People were doing these real advanced exercise type Look things. Look here. Doing what? <laughs> exercise type things. Uh, was that a feature in the previous yes. dream? An exercise, a practice. Yeah. And Go it's ahead. beautiful too what they were doing. And it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. They were art forms. Art forms. There was one huge wedding. One yeah, huge look at that. Look at that. Isn't that great? Yeah. And there's a wedding. <laughs> and there was one huge group was learning how to fish. No, oh, there they are. <laughs> that was funny too. And I was walking by all this stuff interested in getting back to the water and interested in being able to figure out how to get back to where I started from without turning around and going all the ah, way. Back. Same language. Without turning around, though. I want yeah. to go back without turning around. Right. <laughs> Seems like circles and spinning around are kind of common things, I think. Mm. Right, but this is without turning around. That's what your goal is, to be able to do it without, without turning, turning around, around whatever that means. Go ahead, keep going. That's it. Ah, see, how do I get back to the beginning? Could you do that, please? Interested in being able to figure out how to get back to where I started from. Beginning, all right, without back to where I started from. Mm -hmm. Correction. Go ahead. Without turning around and going all the way back. Without turning around, right? Okay. Good. Yeah. Are certain themes reappearing? Yes. Certain states of mind, interesting, here? Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> now, uh, the best thing to do now, you're familiar with it, is to read it loud, clear, and let's underline the issues as they come up. Do it once more, please. Okay. Cool. Walking in the city that's along a waterway, and I have two things with me that I think belong to my mother. A big coat and some kind of thing to step onto and ride, which I was able to use to go down this one steep place. Go ahead. At one, at one point, I walked out by the water and left both of those things sitting on the ground. And when I turned around to come back and get them, I was anxious to get them before I lose them. Issue, issue, issue. And, but the thing, okay, but the thing was, I was wandering farther and farther from where I was supposed to go. Problem, problem. I started out to take a short walk to see if I could get there a different way. And I kept finding that I was cut off from getting back. But I kept walking farther away. Mm -hmm. And there were all these places that I walked by that had no access back to the water. Hotels and places where people were having big receptions and people were doing these real advanced exercise type things. They were art forms, the exercises were. One huge wedding, one huge group was learning how to fish. And I was walking by all this stuff, interested in getting back to the water, mm -hmm. and interested in being able to figure out how to get back to where I started from, mm -hmm. without turning around and going all the way back. Goal, everyone, goal. Clear. She left something. She wants to return to it. Yes. And whatever she's doing, she's getting further and further from it. I'm wandering further and further from where I was supposed to go. Oh. And would you not agree these themes reappear? Yes. Oh. 
and you have various strategies of how to get back and all your strategies bad mm. now as soon as you lifted it up away from the literal level to, and just took it on the idea you know just the rush of things just flood in and then I that I would like to get back to <laughs> you know my usual primary goals that have been left left on the desk or um, you know, at least a, a feeling that state comes over that I think that, that I, there are things left on the table that I want to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. That you have left, that you... Yeah, but the dream has, has me leaving two specific things lying around. That's I exactly... Those, I can't put, the, put names well, on that, things. That's so, things that's why we don't, <laughs> don't worry about that. Go to the line, please, that describes them. Remember them, please. Go to the dream. Now we'll go for the images. Okay. Two things with me that I think belong to my mother. Okay. Look here. Two things that I think belong to my mother. Go ahead. A big coat. And Describe some, it. Okay. Like the biggest fur coat you ever saw in your life. Pardon? Ridiculous. The bit, but what, what? Fur, like fur. massive fur no. coat. No, what, ma go ahead. Like, um, massive no, fur coat. The animal protection people are in a guy. I don't think it was mink, but it was probably, um, it's a, one of those dark, no, it's a reddish, reddish brown fur. Fox, fox, fluffy, yeah, like a fox. <laughs> Go ahead. Good. Thank you. Come on, more, more. Just o oversized too. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Massive. Right. Large. Right. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, just talk about that kind of a coat for a minute. Massive. I don't own one, but I, I wish I did. In a way, I mean, I, if I, I didn't have it, if an animal had had a diaper, I would probably not. Pardon, pardon, what's that again, please? If an animal didn't have to die, yeah, yeah. Take the coat? Yeah. You know, I, 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 I like those coats. Did you say love? I love it. Yeah. I'd love it, thank I'd you. Have, <laughs> I'd love to have a big, huge right. fox coat. Right. Okay, I'd love to have it. Right. Right. More? So come on. That idea a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, but come on. We're in the, we're in the dream. It's That's my easy. mother's coat, so she, she had those. She had all kinds oh, of different coats. Oh. Before it became unpopular. Oh, she had one of these. Something. I don't think she had. Okay, all right. That's right, right. I don't think but she, she did have fur coats. Coat, but yeah. she had lots of fur coats. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which I imagine she used as a throw rug, or how did she use it? Go out in the evening. Important? Significant? Dress up. Dress up, okay. All right. So I'd love to have it. You see, whatever, whatever this, all the meanings we can attach to that, right. that's what you. That's what you love. What do you do? Okay. Yeah. Any more glamour in me than I thought? Come on. Let's do it then. <laughs> it's something to go out. Come on. Right. Something to go out with. Come on. More. Fancy, important event. And they're also very practical, very warm. They're warm. Oh, I'll, I'll they put it practical them. too. Don't they worry. Cover your legs. Practical, you warm. Snow down to your legs, right? Go ahead. And yeah, 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 but it's also, is it, uh, it's probably very ugly, shabby, and things. Oh, it's truly beautiful. Really? beautiful. Pardon me, you have to tell me that because I wouldn't have guessed. Thank you. Now let's okay. do it better now. Come on. Beautiful? Come on, more. Regal. What? Regal. R E G. Regal. Re What's that mean? <laughs> Come on, please. Come on, what does it mean? It's beautiful, regal. Confident, and God, it has a lot, a lot just in that one coat. Um, wearing a coat like that. Um, Would. Come on, look here. It's very cozy, comfortable. Cozy. You know, self-assured, confident. Confident. Oh my God, all that's in a coat? Yes. That's a great coat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But we're not finished with it. I gotta get you in it. Come on now. Oh man. Oh, man. Um, I don't know. 
frequency we were on, see, you have to tell me about red, brown, dark, right, and to this. It's beautiful, it's regal. It's also a practical warm. It brings down all the way to the level of your it's legs. The right color. It's the right color for me. I don't know what that means. What, what's that color for me? What reddish, is it? It's reddish, blondish, brownish. Probably the colors of all the colors in my hair, except the real ones. See, best for me. See, we take her. Everything, in, everything that she associates with it, <coughs> we then talk about that coat with this in mind. That's right. Hey, um, let's go back now. Could you do the same thing, please, with that instrument? The other thing? You didn't call it. Um, it's, a, it's a thing to step onto and ride. Yeah, something I step onto and ride. Now, this is not something that exists that I've ever seen. OK, that's good. But you step on it. Step on it and, and, and ride on it. Ride on it. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, it's not motorized. And it's it's not motorized, but you can use it to go down steep places. Steep places. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What way? Well, because even in the dream, I noticed that it was impractical. It didn't appear to be what you would use to go down steep places, but it worked. Ah. It worked for this kind of purpose to go down steep inclines safely. It, yeah, worked. it worked. Hmm. What do you notice between the two images now of the coat and this Not instrument? That, I want to leave from home. that may be true, but please stay with it. If all of these things together is what we mean by the coat, Right. Is there a practical side to the coat? Yes. Warm Is there something else? Effective? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unusual? Mm -hmm. There's Un nothing like it? Unorthodox. Unorthodox? Mm -hmm. Rare? Uh, right. Yes. right? Mm -hmm. Come on, more? One of a kind. I've one of a kind? One. I've never seen one in real life. Wonderful. The then dream. she left. One of a kind, designed for this purpose, very unusual, rare, very effective, and you left it with the coat by the side of the waters. I feel safe about doing that. I always feel safe about doing that. I, do, I can't hear I you. I feel safe about doing that, and I, that's, uh, I feel safe about doing things like that. What do you mean, leaving them? I feel safe about leaving them. I walked out by the water and left both those things sitting on the ground. And I left. felt safe In leaving the dream, them. I was, it was safe to do that. I felt safe, safe to leave it. Right. I didn't have any intention of leaving it there, but I didn't have any thought of going to get it either. So, so I, therefore, I, what I, can you say about this state of mind, please, in the dream? Alarm should go off. Alarms should go should off. Go off. When you're in this state where things feel safe and you act on it, such as in this dream, then when you try to recover, try to get back to it, the strategy you're using, go ahead. It's not working. Hmm. No, not the idea of turning myself around and getting Dizzy and going That's right. in the wrong direction. Turning around, mm -hmm. right, right. This is an ancient term, turning around, metanoia, repentance, mm -hmm. uh, conversion, uh, remission. All of those terms are connected with turning around. But we don't know exactly whether it's doing that in this way, so we'll hold back from it. All right. Again, there are a lot of things here that we might explore we're not. Fishing, marriage, the exercise, right? even though it's advanced exercise that they're doing, and it's very beautiful. Well, why don't we pause on beauty? Come on, go ahead, more. Well, I, I stopped, for one thing. I stopped. So looked in there. Looked. And I saw bodies in those uh, dance skin type clothes were the tight fitting clothes and they were and they were doing yoga type exercises. 
Mm-hmm. And you. I remember in the dream thinking how strange it was because of all the other types of activities I was going by, but this seemed um, in contrast, you know, the, the, the quiet nature of it. Good. Good, that's good. More, more, more. Beautiful, I caught my eye. Yeah, but you didn't. I wanted to participate. I wanted to participate, thank you, but you wanted to continue the exercise, <laughs> but, but. Not for long, I didn't. But you're on this quest. I'm on this quest. I just ah. turned around and kept going. Ah. Probably turned around again. Hmm. Exercise comes back now. Would you not agree by focusing on this for a few minutes, we got some important ideas? Mm -hmm. The important ideas here is that I not only that I stopped and looked and that it was a high art form, but I wanted to join, but didn't because I was. I don't know. Watch, look here. That's the point of the dream, isn't it? That she does want to join, but because she's doing this, she can't stay. Point. Is it better for her to stay there or to go back and pick up this? I know, they're right, of course. And now we raised another issue, didn't yeah. we? That's right. There are some pretty high, high class distractions. There are some pretty high class distractions or interruptions. Yeah. I mean, I, you know. Yeah. This could be a high class interruption. That's right. We have to keep that alive, don't we? That these are things that her mother. Beautiful things that don't belong. That's right. That's right. And she's attached to it, isn't she, in some way? The word attached, though, has a possible negative, and we, we want to back away from that yet until we see what further develops. So what you're doing is absolutely correct. So you speculate about it. You keep all possibilities open. How did that suggestion? Yeah, well, see, now I'm confused because I've forgotten that that it was my mother's stuff, and now I'm wondering. That I think belonged to my mother. mother. Yeah. And I don't think I'd want them if they were hers, but I want them for myself. OK. We don't have to solve it. Yeah. It's presenting you with an interesting predicament, okay. a puzzle. Yeah, there might be some parts of her that I'd like to All right, <laughs> here we go. Next one. Maybe. Uh, well, now, what was the date between these two? Oh, that was the next night. Next night? Okay. We have a series. Now, just to keep it going, would you agree she's going somewhere? She leaves something, leaves mother's things, wants to get back to them, right? wants to get back to them, can't, finds this event very attractive, the exercises, artful, right? and in these things, there's things that are of great beauty, keep that in there, don't want to lose it, and rare, practical kinds of things, unusual. Mm -hmm. OK, now we go to the next one, please. They should have something cheaper for lunch. Uh, date, please. This is the next night, August 19th. So this is the third night in a row. When's that coming in series? Good. All right, want to read it for us, please? They should have something cheaper for lunch. Right. Something I've often said. 
They only have things that cost more than ten dollars. Ah, more than ten dollars. So they should have something that costs four ninety-five. Right. Hmm. I'm telling the stream backwards. That's the end. That's all I remember. I wake up and I remember Fine. this is the end. I'm at this place, something like a country club. No, that was it. Country oh club. my gosh, though, this is getting creepy. That's my mother's country club, no doubt. No doubt. That's a lot of More? Just well, keep I, talking, please. Oh, because, that's, because all things cost $10, $20, $30, and they shouldn't. They should cost four ninety five. That's exactly the description of the of her country club in Florida where she hangs out for lunch. And I, I didn't have that association until now after doing the other two. What? what? After doing the other two dreams, yes. this, this association comes to me now. Oh, that? That... This restaurant is like the one in Florida, oh. where my mother is a member, and everything does cost ten or twenty or thirty dollars, and it should cost four ninety five. Mother. Mm -hmm. right. Are we learning something about one of the images in the last dream? Very. Mother's things mother. are what? Expression. Expensive. <laughs> Expensive. Expensive. More? Overpriced. Over? What does that mean? Overpriced. I don't know what that means to you. She will always pay more for it if she can. But aren't you pleased at that or no, disillusioned? Well, well, you I'm have to tell me. <laughs> Therefore, please put the state of mind in when you're looking at the menu and realizing that, please. Would you mind telling me the state of mind you're in in, the, in this, looking at the, the menu? I want to spend four ninety five for lunch, and all the things on the menu cost more than ten dollars. You seems, see, you're adding something yeah. with your tone. Uh, I need I'm words. I'm disgusted by it. I'm like, what? Upset. I'm disgusted. Thank by you. It. That's helpful. Disgusted. I can use that. That's a state of mind. <laughs> right, I can deal with it. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. More. Angry. Um, that's that's a state of mind. Discussion right? is better than not fair. More, please. I'm opinionated. I'm like I'm not looking it? down my nose at, at them. Like I, I know better than they do. <laughs> More. See what attitude goes with that? That I know I'm a better. Knower. Uh, of course, you'd be knowing. What does that mean? That you're a knower. It means that that. I'm not open to hearing why they don't have anything for four ninety five. Not, I'm not. I'm not open to it. Like I'm not um, oh. like closed minded. You're closed minded. Right. You're to go over it now. I'm You're just definite. I'm clear and definite about I'm it. I'm clear. Too, I'm definite unfair. that this place. I don't have anything for four ninety five. Yes, I understood that. Mm -hmm. I'm ignoring the tone until you put it into words, please. <laughs> I'm trying. I don't know what that's Well, saying. you were clear about it. You say you're disgusted about that fact, right? And you know better that they that it should be four ninety five. Right. And you're not open and you're closed to what? It's like I know that the food that they're serving is not worth ten dollars. There you. should be something on that menu for four ninety five because I've seen the quality of their food. It shouldn't be ten dollars and twelve dollars for lunch. Therefore, what kind of a place do you mind concluding so that you're it's in? So overpriced and okay. limited and... Overpriced, that's all? Pretentious. 
yes, you see what you're saying when you're saying it's not worth it. And it should be four ninety five for the quality of the food. For the quality of the food, it should I mean, be four ninety five. If it was ten and or twenty I'm kind of confused now because I've also got that idea of it being lunchtime and that there should be something less expensive on the menu regardless of the quality. So if both things are there and I don't know You don't if they're both there, we use them both. You don't have to drop one or okay. the, take the other. That's the state of mind that you're in. Right? right? It should be $4.95. Should and, have for $4.95. And if there is something, $10 or $20, you would expect it to be? Terrific. Terrific, which it is not. It's not. It's mediocre. Therefore, make a conclusion about the place you're having lunch in. It is mediocre. And I don't know mediocre. Does that mean between two no. extremes it's mediocre? Oh, if they were selling cars and doing this, what would you call it? Oh, I'd call it um, overpriced and a rip-off. Thank you. What's that word again? Rip-off. Rip Thank you. <laughs> that helps. Jeez. And you, I'm being cooperative here. And you know it? Wait a minute. And you know it? And I know it. Yeah. And you're not open to anything else because you know it? Thank you. What do you know about? It's a ripoff. You know about? And it's like my mother's restaurant. Are we getting further insight into mother's things? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Fourth dream? During this party, the party is at this hotel someplace outdoors. Looking, I'm looking for this guy who has been involved in other parts of the dream. And at this point, I have a name tag on that says Julie Wagoner. And of course, they go up and start looking for my name on the list. This is the authorities. The, uh, yep, here he is. Start looking for my name on the list, and I tell him I'm not part of this party, but I'm trying to find this guy. And I'm thinking to myself at this point in the dream that he's probably someone, in, that he's with someone in the hotel somewhere around here, or mm -hmm. in some hotel around here, mm -hmm. or someplace. Mm -hmm. And I really don't know where to start looking. I saw his car, and I thought I ought to find him. I saw his car outside. Before that, in the dream, and this is, well, I'm sorry, I told this out of the Sorry. Way. I'm involved with some stock thing and involved with these people who are in their daily lives famous or publishers or making a lot of money. And this wo woman is telling me what to invest in, what stocks to invest in. And then I'm going to meet this guy. I'm still thinking about meeting this guy. No, that comes afterwards. I'm going to meet this guy, so I go up and look for him. Hmm. Hmm. Another incomplete action. Um, could be. Um, what are we going to look for in every dream? The affair. We need states of mind, don't we? Okay. All right. What's it like when you look and see your name is Julie Wagner? Ah, thank you. The name I could have right now. Go ahead. Okay, and I liked it. And you liked it. Mm hmm. Mm. Liked my family name. Mm hmm. Mm. More? Talk about it. I liked it. Go ahead. I was in the dream, it was a very pleasant sensation. Oh, uh, where? Um, seeing me How? as I mean. Julie Wagoner, looking like I do now, but being that young. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> um, it was appropriate, it felt natural. Hmm? It felt natural. Hmm. 
Appropriate. Appropriate, natural, appropriate. But it was a little bit of a surprise in the dream when I just when I see it that that's the name on my name tag. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Good. And uh, you have the name tag, and the attendant looks at the list. Well, I'm looking for this other person. I'm looking for this man. And so that's why I'm here in this particular place, looking for him. The name tag, I, I was at some other function. That's lost to me. Mm -hmm. Although I think it has something to do with this, these famous publishers and making a lot of money and this woman telling me what to invest in. I think that's where I have the name tag from. Okay, that's helpful. Go ahead. And then I go to try to find this man and I, I see his car out and that's what makes me think I ought to go find him. Now, in the dream... It's in the dream, it's even vague. Yeah, yeah. Would you please go back to the dream, go back to the line that says, you see his car, and he's probably with someone in some hotel around right, here. Right. What does that mean in the dream? In the dream, that means that I'm not necessarily supposed to find him. It's something I want to do. It's something I want to do, but we haven't made an appointment to meet or anything. One more. I'm not sure about that. Now, is there any knowledge of what kind of, who that person might be in the dream? No. Good. But it, you are looking for someone, and it's likely he's with someone in some hotel around here. And that's sufficient. There isn't any other state of mind or in, or any no, other idea. Just a little bit of curiosity because I'm in the dream. I'm a little bit vague about it. It's not not uh, like I don't remember. I don't know who he is. Like I'm not sure even in the dream that I have. Like you said, I didn't have a clear name or picture on this guy. Somebody I know, when I saw the car outside, I thought I should look for him. If I look for every guy, it was a car I see outside. Yeah. Well. So you're on an interesting search that's occupying your time. Yeah. Well. And it's a person you're looking for, you're vague about it, you don't know exactly who he is, mm -hmm. no clear picture about him. But or, there is definitely an intensity to the search. But there is an intensity to the search. Because it starts, it blocks out what was what came before. It's the same way. And this blocked out what you were doing before. What's that yeah. called? It's called an interruption. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A nice collection of things that interrupted me. Mm -hmm. Ways I get interrupted. The woman, please, invest in stocks. Go ahead. I don't have much on her. That's all right. Just, they're famous people, famous publishers, uh, wealthy. They've gained a certain amount of wealth through this. But You're there. And I'm attentive to this woman who's telling me. You're attentive to her. Mm -hmm. Right. Good. You're attentive to her. And? Uh, just more. But I think as I'm being attentive to her, I think that's when I I might look out the window and see the car, but I don't I don't have that. I don't Okay. This is why mm -hmm. in a dream every little piece is so important and the relations between things is important. And if we don't retain them for whatever reason we may be blocking or interpreting the information. It weakens it. Therefore, you can't go any further with it, but you keep it open because the next night's dream may fill that in and you pursue. We're still on the issue of interruption. All right. uh, would you agree the family name, maiden name, comes back? Right? Mother, family, playing a major role again. Mm -hmm. right. What do you find following uh, this state of mind? 
Yeah. There's a level of intensity. There's a level of intensity in the distraction. There's always a level of intensity to the distractions. Isn't that interesting, right? So then here, something going on, which, by the way, does that event with these people and publishers, does that interest you at all in the yes. dream? In the dream, I was attentive. Uh, to the whole idea of publishers and people? In I didn't care who they were. OK, I that's fair. That, just I just knew that that's who they were. Yeah. And then I was hanging around these people, listening. I wanted to know what to invest in, what stock to invest in. OK. And the woman knew, and I was listening to her. Oh, she knew that you? She knew what stocks to invest in, and I was listening to her. And you could respond to that in the dream. Oh. So that was an opportunity, wasn't it? Right. That you. Other people were also there, uh -huh. the famous uh -huh. people were listening. So you're in the search for some kind of reward, meaningful, right? A uh, challenge here. And this then becomes another tangent. After someone, and you don't even know who, right? No kidding. Good, 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 good. Story yeah. like that. Some guy. Yeah, I'm not. Who you don't know? Well, okay. <laughs> Next dream, please. Fifth, fourth dream. That's fourth, fifth. Well, this one skips a day. Hold it, hold it. Does this skip a day? Yes, this is skips a day, and I'm on August 22nd now. All right, fifth. I'm in this restaurant type place with this girl. A uh, restaurant, see, restaurant, mm -hmm. country, oh, we got that, go ahead. Who is married to Neil. Who's married to Neil. Neil. Here. Now Neil, I, I will say because it's- You're with Neil? This is a person, now, I'm with this girl who is married to, this is my ex-husband's brother. I don't know who's Well, ex-husband's brother. But, okay, go ahead. And I'm with her in this restaurant. Mm-hmm with, I think, the in-laws, the old in-laws. And I think her husband is there, which would be Neil. This dream is vague. Uh, okay. Okay, pardon me, just so I can be sure. How many people there? Four, counting myself. Including yourself? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is no, Neil's? Five, five. Five. <laughs> five. <laughs> five counting me. Man. Okay, go ahead, please. We're talking. And then I have a cigarette, which grosses me out. Even in the dream. It in the dream, me. then I have a, a cigarette, cigarette oh, and God. that grosses me out. Well, maybe that's not totally true in the dream. I'm not so sure how grossed out I am. It's awfully hard not to put my waking impression on this. I'm sorry, Pierre. Mm -hmm. Let me just do it straight. Please. Okay. We're talking and I have a cigarette and she has cigarettes and they all have cigarettes. And I'm in, in the dream, I am aware of the fact that it's very, very smoky and it's unpleasant. Okay, that's as far as it goes though. It's no, there's no gross down. Okay. We go wandering off to let the other two talk privately. This is the... Now, who are the people that will be talking privately? Um, the old in-laws? Well, see, this is the thing. Two of us go off and leave two people, but there should be three people left. Yeah. I know. That's okay. But the two who... The two who want to talk privately, I'm not sure. I don't know. Okay. Dream, All I don't right. know if we know. That's okay. All right. Who do you go with? The wife of my ex-brother. Well, the woman. Why don't give it woman. make a make up a first name? Uh A. Anne. Okay. You go together? Okay. Go ahead. She gives me some of her stuff in my bag. She doesn't want to carry it, so I put it in my bag. Okay. Some time passes. And I, then I go up to the bathroom and I come back and I can't find her anymore. And it gets later. It's 11.30 now. And no one has come back. 
And so I go out the front. It's like an out, like an outdoor, like a motel office or something. And I'm looking through my bag to find an ad, try to find an address book or something that will help me find the number for their house, which doesn't make any sense to me. here or in the um, to the in-laws' house so I can call them. This is what I want to do in the dream. I want to find the number for the in-laws' house so I can call them. Okay, now I'm, I'm reflecting back on an earlier part of the dream when I say I tell her in the dream when I smoke a cigarette that I only smoke one. Mm -hmm. And then I notice everyone is blowing smoke all over the place and that's a vivid part of the dream. Mm -hmm. States of mind, please. Uh, There's also one more little part. We're looking for this girl that I was talking with. This is the same girl I was talking with. I'm pushing through this crowd of people that come in. Uh, <coughs> wait a minute, that's another dream? That no, this is, a, this is part of the same dream. I'm pushing through this crowd of people that come in. I'm looking Hold out. It. Okay, go ahead. We're looking for this girl that I was talking with. I'm pushing through this crowd of people that come in. I'm looking out and I have gloves on. And I lose one of my gloves as I'm walking out to try to call someone. And I'm thinking about whether or not to go back to look for it. See, the same thing. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm hoping I do. <laughs> You hope that you will go back. Yeah. Go ahead. Thank you. All right. Um, as you look at this, right, the same thing. This is one scene. All right. A. B. Walking away with Anne. All right. Um, Watching the time and going into the bathroom. C. Looking through the bag to find that. D. And this last going through the crowd and this reflection that goes along with it. Yes. All right. What's the goal in the dream? To find a girl. Looking for someone. That's one. Good. What else? Good. And then I want to find my gloves. Mm hmm. I don't do any of them. That's right. Not only that, but it, it looks like I leave two people to be alone talking, but I leave three instead. That's all right. So not even, no, that's no, not no. even successful. No, no. We, 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 we don't have to. We don't worry about the logic. You don't have to worry about okay. that. So, Talk about these in-laws. Uh, I love them dearly. More? Uh, Come on. I like being I like being married to their family for a while. Um, More? Come on, just keep on. They were caring and they were uh, attentive and interested in me and interested in my life and followed, kept up with their interest. You know, it was a consistent relationship. I wrote letters. Uh, there was a, a level of shallowness to their relationship with me, but. But it, is, it, but it was comfortable and until I challenged the level of intimacy of the whole thing. You know, it was, uh, it was sure a step up from what I had before. Mm -hmm. Can I assume from what you just said that you did challenge this? Yeah. And what happened to the relationship? They disintegrated. There, oh. was, there was nothing there. I mean, 
no interest in pursuing ideas or mm -hmm. um, questioning anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anne, in the dream, Anne, we called her Anne. Um, nice, young, vibrant, um, creative. Mm -hmm. I'm spoiled. And what's it like? She doesn't want to carry it, and uh, she gives it to me to stuff in my bag. What's that like? State of mind? Um, her state of mind or mine? Both. Well, hers was uh, carefree and relaxed, uh, like, you know, can you do this? And I was, you know, uh, was not a problem for me. So, everything fine? Mm -hmm. Then you can't find her, go to the bathroom, and can't find her? Then you're going looking through your bag to get back in touch with, with the them. Right. So what are you trying to do? Get back in touch with the old in-laws. You're trying to get back in touch with this. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Sure, it sure fits with all the other stuff. Pardon me? It fits with the other dreams, the going back to mother's things and oh. going back to younger days. Oh. Therefore, we're interested in E. All right. Yeah. State of mind, pushing away through the crowd, please. Let's go. Committed. I mean, yeah, like I was walking through the crowd with no, um, I, as if I had a direction to go in. I'm not sure. Oh, I don't even know where I'm going necessarily, but. As if I had a direction. Right. And in doing it, talk about the glove you lost. Glove. Talk about those gloves. Well, this is totally out of place, but in the dream I had them. Fine. Talk about the gloves. The kind you'd find at any Goodwill store? No, and I'm really not um, sure. I have those that are. Sure. <laughs> I thought they were short white gloves, which. <laughs> look, 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 stay I think they were short okay. white gloves. I have to know about that. You have to tell me what that means, please. It's your okay, dream. Short white gloves I haven't worn since <laughs> I was a teenager, or since I was like, I had to wear them when I was like 17 or 18 to go to some formal dance. They are, they are rather important in this dream with all of these images, aren't they? Yeah, I had to wear short white gloves to this dance. Long and long talk long about long that. Long. Come on. I mean, I look beautiful. I was all dressed up in a very, I very fancy right. formal, but it was really dressed up. awkward for me at the time. I mean, I didn't, I wasn't prepared for it, but I looked, looked the part. Okay, but you looked good? You looked the part? No one is prepared for it, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Okay, see, see what it means? Now look here. What the thing means is what you have to see. Let the glove recede, allow the meaning to emerge. All right? So you lost it. You lost one of them. What do you want to do? I, I hope I want to go back. And you want to go back to it. Go back. Go back. Turn I around. I hope I do. Anyway. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Family, still images of family, mm -hmm. playing a key role. And as you're saying, there's a tendency in this to try to get back to them. Without turning around and going back. Without turning around. <laughs> <laughs> Without turning back and going all the way back. All right. Mm -hmm. Next one, please. Oh, my God. Last one. Driving in a car. This uh, is the next day, one. Please. This is actually next. a three-day elapse now. Mm -hmm. 
driving in a car, taking P and R somewhere. R, we'll call her Rose, has driven over to my house. Okay, pardon me, pardon me. Um, let's do it over again. Did you name her already? Uh, driving in a car. There you are, wait a minute. Well, I'm jumped ahead a little bit, see, so yeah, I'm, I'm That's in the dream that starts with Rose and Rose. Rose has driven over to my house, and then P is coming over. That's driving over to your house. Right. Go ahead. And then P is coming over, Pierre is coming over, and we're going to this thing together. We're driving along. And I have these. They're like blinds. They're they have, they're slots in front of my driving window, like blinds. Yeah, like, see them right here. Are, they are, in fact, not just like they are. Blinds. blinds. Right. Blinds just like, right. Window. Good point. Good point. I happen to be an expert at drawing this, Venetian blinds. Hold on. There's. Okay. Good. 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 Well, you've got to tilt it. All right. Come on. I'll take it. They're, they're actually up straight up and down. Okay. Go ahead. And they're partially open. Mm -hmm. no, okay, go ahead. And I go to make them more open. Want to make them more open? More closed. What? I make them? I go to make them more open, but I make them more closed. But I make them closed. Go ahead. Oh, I can't see where I'm going, so I ask for help. I tell them I need their help to open the window because I know we're going to. Can't see where I'm going. We're getting to a place where we have to turn in. Or I have to turn in and I can't see. Right. Have to turn in. Can't see. Go ahead. Can't see anything. Good. Say, what's it like in the car? State of mind. Well, I'm happy to be in the car with these people going to the thing, but I am totally absorbed and distracted by these Pardon. spots in front of my driving window. Pardon. Really, from the start. Please just go back. Okay. What's it like in the car? Focus I'm happy more. To be in the car with these people going to where we're going. And what? I'm happy. To happy. Be in the car going to the place where we're going. Good. What's the problem? There are vertical blinds in front of my. Hmm. And when you try to open them? I try to open them. I make. Open them instead. Right. Right. All right. Good, good, good. So I, I asked for help. I said, help! Oh. Go ahead. Because I knew we were getting to a place where I would have to turn in. I can't drive in the blind. Can't drive blind, right. So. Can't see. Right. What do you do I that brought this help. about? Talk about it. I pull them. Pull something like a vertical blind thing that you would pull to make your vertical blinds open and close. And? Except that I didn't pull it the right way, but, I, but in the dream, it's not as if I, even in the dream, I'm really not even sure I know exactly what I did to get them to close. But then we don't have to deal with it. All you know is that whatever you did, whatever I did was closed them. Made them worse, yeah. Right. Just uh, talk for a few minutes about uh, in the dream. You're in the dream. Venetian blinds. Is that what they're like? You're saying? They're like. They're okay. like. Talk about level those. Or, level or blinds. Yeah. Level talk or about that. Just talk about it. Mm -hmm. I have them in hmm? my house. Talk, just talk. Keep going. Be pretty hard to see through. Go. Um, Go ahead. The ones in my house, though, I've had, I've had problems with some of the ones I've had, but I've gotten fixed. Um, I don't know what to say about them. 
Well, you like them better than curtains. Yeah. 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 Clean, but they make noise when you open and close them. Right, just one. You like them? I've had challenges putting them up. I've had challenges putting them, putting them up, them but up. I've learned how to do it pretty well. Yeah. Better. Yeah. yeah. I put fewer holes in the wall every time. Mm hmm Okay, now look here. All right. Um, you like them better than curtains. You had problems with them in the past. You've been able to fix them. You like them because they're all so clean. Now, get in the dream, all right? There you are. What are they doing in front of my window? Thank you. More. How unlikely. Unlikely. More. But I deal with it. It's like, but that's what, you know, that's what's there. That's what happens. That's what's there. And I deal with it. But it, it is unlikely. I, and, it's, and it's irritating. You know, it's like it's bothersome. It's more. Well, it's bothersome. It's a little fearful. Fearful. Come on, more. I squint and I do pretty well seeing through them until I close them even more. Now, so you and have to. Neither of the other people in the car say a word. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Now you have to step back and you have to look at the dream in terms of the reactions in the dream. Yeah. What's the nature of the problem in the dream? Right. I'm going along, things are fine, something comes up that's unexpected, that's blocking me, that's bothering me, that's irritating me, that I don't deal with well, that I, instead of doing the right thing, I go the wrong way. Instead of going the right way, I go the wrong way. Instead of pulling them closed or open, I pull them closed. Thank you. Please go back in the dream, all right, with the words you use. All right, I'd rather do that, okay? okay. All right, because other ways, other than that, you might go with the feelings in the dream that may color what's going on in the dream, so okay. I have to pull you back to the statements in the dream. All right. I go to make them more open and I make them hold more it, closed. Hold it, hold it just for a second, okay? What, in each of these, do we not try to find out what each of those images mean to the dreamer? We allow that to replace the thing, don't we? All right. So doing something I enjoy. All right. Look here. You like these. You like these. All right. You have experience with them. Yeah. You know they're about them. Place. But they're in the wrong um, place. What are they doing in front of my windows yeah. in the car? That is the theme. problem. That's the theme. The That's right. What's the issue in the dream? What are they doing in front of my window? I am irritated, fearful, bothered by it. How unlikely for that to be there. Now, what do you do about it in the dream? I do something before I know what to do. Right. <sighs> See? You do understand the problem in the dream. How unlikely for them to be there. What are they doing in front of my window? I'm irritated and fearful. How unlikely. I'm bothered by it. But your, but your action in respect to that is? You play. That's fine, but in any case, would you, uh, are you dealing with this, or are you, or are you adjusting to it in the dream? Uh, well, I try to adjust to it. Ah, yeah. but it gets worse. But it gets worse because I oh. pull the thing the wrong way. Say, now here comes the step. I'm going to repeat it, all right, and you tell me about it. 
something going on that's going right in front of you, right? It's irritating you, it's fearful, it's bothersome, right? It's in the wrong place, you don't like it at all, right? Uh, when did you have the dream? That one I had Sunday the 25th. Okay. Talk about that state of mind on the preceding day, please. Irritated, fearful, there's something there that's bothering you. It's right in front of you. You want to go someplace that's important for you to go to. You feel happy about where you're going, you're focused, you're in a good state, but then bang up. What's that doing in front of mine? All right. It's fearful, irritation, I'm bothered. How unlikely for it to be there. and you try to adjust it, and it's not doing very well, and you can't see where you're going. You have to turn in, you can't. Can't see because, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We're trying to do fix it, right? Now, if you want to take this into the preceding day, you pick it up in terms of the dream. There's something you're doing, you tried to reach someplace, you couldn't get there, right? You were trying to adjust to the condition that was here. It irritated, it upset you, you found it fearful, unbelievable, right? Bothered by it. You try to adjust to it, it gets worse. You know you have to turn in, it's a danger. You can't see where you're going. Right? And I remember blocking That's all right. What day is it? Saturday? Therefore, Saturday? Saturday. Talk about Saturday. Because this then is what we do. Um, well, come on, what was it? What did you see? Did you try to fix something? And, come on. So I tried to fix her state of mind. And? Go ahead. I tried to fix her state well, of mind. We, we, just, we were talking, and I thought, I thought our talk might have helped her state of mind. It corrected her impression, corrected her impression of her, of her role in the, in the night before. Um, what we're now suggesting, yeah. any event that you bring up, we want to see whether any of this language applies to that. That's where we are. All right. Now, what we like about this, would you agree, is there is something about the home that's picked up here, right? Something from your home that you have had some success with, you had problems, but you're able to fix them, and you're applying that to this, even though the solution is to get rid of, yeah, it's not the right place. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, I'd have to do some personal reflecting on that. Okay, all right. Would you agree, now that we look at this, does this look like a departure from this? In what way? No. Well, I saw that common theme of being out of place. Things were out of place. Like in all the dreams, it seems like I was in a different time period. Is this all a tangent? Is this the result of trying to do something? Which in principle? Come on. In principle? What about this maneuver? Oh, that can never it never will work, right? Another one, another maneuver that won't work. Right, I'm going the wrong way. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So that showing this occurs here as well as here. Yeah. But the old images from your family are not here. Therefore, we can say that, how many dreams did we look at today? Five? It looks like, therefore, these dreams fit together, one, two, three, four, Five, all right, and this is the sixth. 
and it looks like the dream can connect these in a row and the particular problem that you're dealing with, which is your strategy, the idea of taking the wrong strategy returns here without dealing with the issue. Mm -hmm. Now we would go back and see whether or not the family background for this problem is here, and this is a present application of it, and it may fit whatever happens Saturday in your waking world. Uh, if, if that is the case, if that is the case, and if you can learn from this, let, let me ask you. We spent an hour and some minutes on this. What was it like going through this? What did it do for you to go through this? Now, if the dream, whatever it is that constructs these dreams, if we are correct, at least partially in this work of ours, all right, what does it say about whatever it is that is producing this dream? Persistent. Persistent. Repeats themes, doesn't it? <laughs> if, we, if we are interested in why you take the wrong strategy, trying to get back using the wrong strategy, it reappears six times, doesn't it? It goes back into your family and gives you a whole series of events from your own family background that may be playing a role in the present role of what strategy to use. Agreed? Ah. What does that say then about the maker of the dream? Persistent. If these things are personally significant to you, are they? Yes then that dream master, as it were, can reach back into your personal past, pick up images <clears throat> of your own personal past, right? pick up images in each one of these, their connections between the dreams, themes that repeat themselves, that link it together, <clears throat> that are we getting more and more refinement by doing this? What is it like having to face this in a whole series? It's accelerated. It's like uh, I've done dream explorations before with one dream, and this is more powerful. This is um, what got me. I'm pins and needles. Like I'm like I'm anxious to solve it. Solve it. Like the, the puzzle got magnified. More you know? personally significant. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. And you have a dream master, we all have a dream master that does this. Now, if you ever can do it, if you ever have the good fortune to be able to do it, get some butcher paper and tie, you know, tape it to the walls and do 20 of them, 30 of them of your own dreams. You'll see something that you'll never forget. Mm. Well, this right? Is, this is six. This is so characteristically neat. I mean, it's like every strategy, every thing that I've ever done that's taken me off my path has been shown here in six dreams. Like, I mean, it's not as if I always go off my path, but the dream is the dreams are all, mm -hmm. uh, they're trying to help you with something that I'm working on right mm -hmm. now, or something mm -hmm. I'm working on. I'm trying to steady myself or, or stop doing this mm -hmm. this thing that I do, whatever it is that I do, I'm trying to stop doing it. So like, it's like it's showing me all the different... You can never stop, doing. you can, a bold statement, you can never stop yourself from doing it until you discover why you're doing it. Oh, why I'm doing it. Yeah, it has to go to that level. So therefore, does it look like we can talk about a dream cycle? And dreams are cyclical, and certain themes repeat themselves and purify as they go on with greater and greater precision, and that precision adds to our understanding. 
as it develops a certain meaning, and the meaning is personally significant, enriched by reflections of our past, from key images that contain great wealth from our own past, to bring us to see what's going on in our personal world. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, first of all, for volunteering. Thank you. Right? So, yeah. thank you very much for doing it. Yes, hold it. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, please. I know you just wanted to see the artwork, but... <laughs> okay. Yes, go right ahead. Okay. If you wanted to continue this, you see, now we can go back into it for more precision. Um, you see these two points we mentioned before? If I can go back to the quote. If I can. Go ahead. If I can sit and take in the whole circle. As Thank I you. Were. What does the word sit mean to you? If I can sit. Meditate. What? To meditate. To meditate. Right. Ah. Add that, please, and tell me what you're doing. If I can meditate, meditate and, take and take the whole circle, now what is it becoming? A meditation. Right. See, if I can sit, her background then is sit means to meditate. Mm -hmm. Is that right? In this context, you would. Yeah. In this context? Ah. And then if you could then do it, you see, mm -hmm. through sitting, how would you see this peripherally? You called it with an eye on the back of your head. Right. Therefore, what would that be like? Omniscient. Oh, it's really nice. It would be like um, extending yourself, expanding, you know, like your boundaries. Like they're expanding your boundaries louder, please? Come on. Expanding your boundaries. More. Such that. I lose, sense, lose track of me, you know, the body, you lose, lose track of me and just take in what's out there and ask, do my go on? Okay. If we were to push this now to greater depth, then we would say C is a, is a very significant development mm -hmm. because now she is becoming her own teacher, right? She starts with a teacher, but here, She's, or if I can do this when I sit and develop this per peripheral vision, then I will have a boundless... Well, and that's why you're my teacher, too, though, because that's, that's your theory. I mean, there's no reason why we need it, a person to do it, to tell us what to do. Or to then, do it isn't us. it important, then, for your dream, for you to, to tell yourself to that? myself, right. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. It is. I can't be convinced that I could ever do this to my Yes, please. Would that be a spur lock? A spur lock? 
A what? A spur lock. That's like, you feel it during, that's the way you just sleep. When you go to when you dream, you're feeling it. When you're awake, during daytime, you're just looking at it. Hmm? I don't know the term. What's the I term? Yeah. Spur lock. Spur lock. Spur lock. Can you spell it? Oh, you oh, like swear cursor? a lot. A lot. Oh, swear a lot. A lot. I'm sorry. A lot. Swear a lot. I spell it. L-O-G-L-E. Oh, logged? Yes. L-O-G-G-E-D? Yes. Swear like to be damned up? Mm -hmm. Oh, logged up. Logged. Where are you damned. logged up? Oh, like blocked? Logged oh, up? Logged. Mm -hmm. Blocked. Yeah, good. Thank you. That's helpful. No, no. No. My tell us that. Because she's trying to find a point from which she could use this hole. It'd be interesting to push that. There's a geometric point that where you put the circles uh, yes. same from all location. That's like a point on the cone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. More. Say more. It's a point on the cone. It's um actually I think it's that water in her shirt. It's also I think that point that she had earlier, that 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 coat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's right. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, everything away from there, look as a cone, everything away from there goes out further. Mm -hmm. Those are all? Further out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's Lincoln, isn't it? That's Lincoln. And then we take it and give it back to the dreamer to see what the dreamer, how they consider it. And then if it confirms their feeling states and what they see in their dream, then it's helpful and they get a deeper understanding. And everybody can do it. Isn't that point on the cone, isn't that a really, really super special place? Like, that's like a thousand dollar dinner, super max coat, best car. Mm -hmm. It's like your, the best of your, your inner self, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You know, there's, there's the best of stuff in the physical world, but there's mm -hmm. the best of stuff in your stuff, isn't there? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, respond please. Well, it's, it raises it up a nice level to yeah. me to see to see that I am I don't, I am I want to find that point. <laughs> I mean, I'm mm -hmm. stubborn. I mean, I'm at I'm at it. I'm on it, and I think the dreams are all showing me places mm -hmm. and ways that I go off of that track mm -hmm. and ways but, I swirl around and. Yeah. But we're enjoying the fact that you do have that and you know that. You just have to figure out why we're going on the tangents. I know, I don't know why That's better than not knowing there is a goal <laughs> and going around in circles <laughs> hoping to discover something worthwhile. But this is certainly worthwhile, significant. Yeah. And your effort then is, is to try to achieve this. And you're just thrown off by certain interruptions. But the interruptions are not personally damaging. They're not psychically damaging. They're not in the dream. They aren't, they aren't conditions of violence. Okay. Right. Would, so it's not that kind of a danger. Right. Would it be possible to see that when she leaves this stream, I mean, she's in this, I can sit and take in the whole, and after that we've gone for this talk, then an interruption comes in. And the way she talks about that interruption, it's like uh, she wants to follow or, or she's jarred into turning into turn in this latter part of the dream. The next series of dreams pick uh, up. Well, what's the point you want to make about this before? You? Well, I was I was wondering if step two is carried on in the other parts of the dream. Oh, the other dream. The other dream. No. The, other dream. No. the problem the of interpretation. Jarred and well, that, going back to her mother is an interruption. Like, is no. that like going back to her mother when she is jarred in the first first part, of, in the latter part of the dream? Mm -hmm. You know, I would, I, I think in that is very encapsulated. No. Yeah, okay. I think actually when I think of my mother's things, it's actually more like that there are some things that of my mother's that are worth keeping, that are that are that are maybe closer to that point than I would have liked to see. But there are mm -hmm. some things because the thing.
things I picked of hers to leave behind were things that are worth keeping. Those aren't things that I would want to throw away mm -hmm. or discard. Mm -hmm. um, so you did leave some things that were I important. I did leave some things behind. Maybe, the, maybe if I go back and understand something in my past, it will show me why I'm darting off. Yeah, good, good, good. Got some truck in my eyes. Okay. Thank you very much. Appreciate your attendance. Thank you. Thank you very much.